right, my name is Houston. I'm back with another pickup. This time it's from Poshmark. I picked up these Jordan 21s, the red Italian suede. And this is one of my grill shoes. I've been after this for, I think, maybe four or five years already trying to get a pair. And I kept seeing them for around the $400 mark. And I seen one that was $88 one time, but it sold out before I could pick it up. And that was on eBay, and the suede was real beat on those. So that's probably why I didn't pick them up the same instant that I seen them, but I seen these. And the seller had them marked at like 130 So I didn't want to pay that much, so I waited, and then they went down in price. And he kept dropping it and dropping it. So he hit 100 he stopped. So that's when I picked them up. And they're in pretty decent shape. The suede is okay, it's still soft. And these shoes are extremely comfortable. The only thing missing is uh, they didn't come with the original box or the extra heel pods that come in there. And the little pops that you put them in. So the only pods are the ones that came in there. So let me see if I can get them out. Because you have to. They're up under the insole. Yeah, I got it out of it. So here's what the little pods look like. They go up here under the insole. Down in there. So let me put that one back. Yeah, so here's the front of the shoe. It's got a chrome jump mat on the front. Chrome tip is on the laces. It's got some nice shoe laces. They're like, get a good look at those. They're pretty sturdy and strong. The suede is real thick on these. It's got the 21 on the tongue there. Opens up. You can put your laces in there if you want to. It's got chrome hair on the eyelids. And uh, lace, the lacing system here is kind of like the 13s, where it's got the little loops on the inside. So it's Jordan right there on this rubber piece. It's got rubber here on the sides. And a suede strip right there. Red carbon fiber on the bottom. So a lot of rubber here on the outsole. The front's black and red. And it's got 23 on the side there. And this is the only flaw that, that I seen on the shoes when I got them. There was a lot of cracking along the rubber piece here. Like when you bend it like that, it would open up. So I went ahead and closed them up with some uh, rubber, rubber filler and glue. And then the paint, so you can't even really tell now. And there was a lot of paint missing here from the sides too, so. I'm not done yet, I still need to do two more coats on it to finish it off. So I'm just showing it as it is. And the process I'm doing it. And I'm using the silver metallic paint. And it matches perfectly the color that the, of the original uh, coat of paint that was there. This jump man, the paint was missing on the leg there, so I used varsity red to, to paint it. And here too, the arm on the jump man, it was missing the paint. So I went ahead and fixed that. And here's the other shoe. The shoe's got a lot of weight to them. They're not, not a light shoe. I think this was the bad one that took a lot of work to do. But you can hardly tell now. It does shine a, a real bright in the sun. It's like, it has like a glitter effect to it. It's got little flakes in the paint. So yeah, no ripping or separation or anything like that. So I'm happy with these and this will probably be the only pair of these I ever get. So I went ahead and restored them and cleaned up the suede and 
did everything like that. I'm gonna spray these down with Crep Protect and then put them up for a little while until I start wearing them. So yeah, if there's a shoe that you really want, you just gotta be patient and you'll eventually get it. So that's what I did with these, so. Uh, you never know what you're gonna pick up, so I check every day to see what's out there. But I'll catch you on the next one.